What's up guys, welcome back. Cookout season is here, but I know everyone doesn't have access to a grill or smoker. So today I'll be showing you how to make baby back ribs in the oven. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell, enable notifications as well. All right, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we're gonna need a nice rack of baby back ribs. You could actually do this with St. Louis style ribs as well. When you're shopping for ribs, you wanna make sure they have some meat on the bone. You don't wanna get any skinny racks of ribs. I got lucky and the butcher actually removed the membrane for me, but if not, you're gonna have to remove that yourself. A paper towel helps you grip and remove that nice and easy. You also wanna take some kitchen scissors or a sharp knife and trim these up. Just to make sure you get all the little thin pieces on the ends off, those will just burn up anyway. So we're gonna make these nice and pretty. As always guys, specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. Now, since we're doing these in the oven and not on the smoker, we're gonna add a little bit of artificial smoke flavor. This is optional. Some people may or may not like liquid smoke. I think that it does add a little bit of smokiness to the ribs and it helps them out a little bit since we're doing them in the oven today. So I'm gonna apply a very light amount of liquid smoke to the back of these and rub that in. And then we're going down with some yellow mustard. The mustard's not there for flavor. It's there to act as a binder. That way the seasoning or the rub really sticks to the ribs and creates that bark that we all love on ribs. So rub in a nice thin layer of yellow mustard. Here I have my all purpose seasoning, which is a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, plus a few extra spices. That'll actually be for sale for you guys very soon. Little shameless plug, but that's what we're going down with first as the base layer of flavor. And you wanna be pretty generous with that because we are seasoning an entire rack of ribs here, guys. So be generous with your seasoning. Next, we're gonna boost that smoke flavor just a little bit more by adding a little smoked paprika, a nice light layer of that. And then we're going down with my favorite barbecue rub until I make my own. This is from Killer Hogs Hot Barbecue. You can find that on Amazon. And I believe they sell it at Walmart now as well. Excellent stuff. It provides a beautiful color on ribs and barbecue. It's also good on chicken. Super important step here, guys. Make sure you press in the seasoning. Don't rub it. Make sure you get the edges as well. You really wanna make sure this is seasoned nicely. So we're gonna flip this over and do the same thing to the other side. Apply that light coat of yellow mustard. Go down with our all-purpose seasoning, a little salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, a little smoked paprika, and then our top layer is gonna be that barbecue rub to add some color and a little bit of spice. Here you can see the ribs are seasoned beautifully. We're gonna preheat our oven to 275 degrees, and we're gonna move our ribs to this wire rack. I like to use a wire rack, that way the fat from the ribs has the ability to drain off and you get more even heat on the ribs in the oven. Looking good, this is how we're looking after about two hours. Before you wrap the ribs in foil, you wanna to touch them and you kinda of rub your finger on them to see if the seasoning is sticking. That way you know the bark is developing. After about two and a half to three hours in the oven unwrapped, we're gonna wrap these in foil. So lay out two thick layers of aluminum foil, and then we're going down with some honey and some brown sugar. Super healthy recipe, guys. This is definitely gonna help you with your uh, summer body goals. As if it wasn't healthy enough, we're also gonna add four tablespoons of butter to the party. And then we're gonna lay the ribs bone side up. And this step is super important, guys, because wrapping them in foil is gonna allow the ribs to get nice and tender. So if you like fall off the bone ribs, you can wanna wrap them in foil and leave them in the foil for about two hours. We're going down with another coat of honey and brown sugar. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be good. Let me know in the comments what your favorite barbecue food is. We're gonna be doing a lot of these recipes heading into the summer. All right, so now we wanna wrap this up like a Christmas present and you're gonna need some sort of liquid to help steam the ribs. Now, steaming them in this aluminum foil is what's gonna help tenderize these baby back ribs. So you can use beer, you can use chicken stock, you can use different fruit juices like apple juice or pineapple juice. Today I'm going with some beer because I'm a bit of an alcoholic, don't judge me. Just need a little bit, probably a quarter cup or so of liquid, and then we're gonna wrap these very tightly in the aluminum foil to allow them to steam and tenderize. Once they're wrapped up nice and tight, they're going back in the oven for another two hours, and we'll check on them in just a minute. Say it with me, guys, looking good. There we go, that's a little pork present. 
back onto that wire rack, and then back into the oven. Once we enter the home stretch, you only got about 15 minutes left in the oven, we're gonna warm up our barbecue sauce. This step is important as well because you don't wanna put cold barbecue sauce on hot ribs. So you wanna warm the sauce. My favorite sauce is Blue's Hog, which I just showed you, but you can use whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is for these. After they're nice and tender, remove them from the foil, place them back on that wire rack, and then we're gonna brush on this delicious barbecue sauce. Brace yourself for some money shots, guys. This is food porn paradise right here. Oh my goodness. I am ready for a cookout. Look at that. Let me know in the comments if you prefer pork or beef ribs. I like pork personally. All right, so once that barbecue sauce is applied beautifully, we're gonna pop that back in the oven for about 15 minutes until the barbecue sauce caramelizes like you see right here. Oh my goodness. We're gonna flip them over because it's easier to slice the ribs bone side up. And then we're gonna add another layer of that barbecue sauce to the bone side, brush that on evenly and it's time to slice these bad boys up. Get us a money shot in a taste test. Look at that. Look at this beautiful knife by Dow Strong. This is a slicer. You guys can pick this up at DowStrong.com. Use the code Mr. Make It Happen at checkout and save yourself 10%. And that, my friends, is a juicy baby back rib. This just screams cookout season to me. Let me know in the comments what side dish you would pair with this. Nice and juicy. I can't wait to get in there and taste this. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. You know I gotta try me one. Moment of truth. Oh man, those are good. You guys have got to give this recipe a try. And that, my friends, is my recipe for baby back ribs in the oven. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications and that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for your support.